What's up? On X1 are playing Zhu Zhenghai 008. Well, I've played before, and it's kind of strange because, um, yeah, you can't see it, but his uh, five minute rating is, uh, well, you can see that 2300. His best is uh, 2600. His one minute rating is 1200. His 50 minute is. Uh, 2200 and his 3 minutes is 1500 so I guess this is a shared account but I don't know his bests are all high though and this is all known so uh, someone who has 1200 in uh, one minute is just isn't doesn't know the theory he's just not it's just, that's just another person I guess I don't know Anyways, we get uh, a Sicilian in which we play the H3 variation, like we've did before. And uh, yeah, I think we're doing quite fine. Queen C8, wow, I have never seen that move. So he's obviously threatening to take on h3, but what is what is my my move here? I'd rather not play h4, but I also rather not go king h2 due to some knight g4 types of uh, traps. I guess this is a move. Because if he takes on h3, I'm going to take on f6, and then we have a very nice square on b5 for our knight. So we can't really take on h3. I guess he can go b4. h4 wants this. But now we can go g4. I kind of like that. Because um, the h5 was intended to stop g4, and now... Oh, we can just go a, a g4, I guess. Mm, so it's a toss-up between queen 2 or f4 or a3 even. I think I like f4, but... Maybe I want to go a3 first. Just to stop a future b4, at least for now. Uh, one of his plans is putting a knight on c4, which is kind of annoying. So I guess I'll go f4. Because if now uh, knight b6, we could go f5. I think I'll go f5 still. He has to go bishop c4. And uh, we could choose to go b3. Whoa, what's this? Does it matter? I don't think so. Yeah, let's go a3 and we maybe can go b4. Although b3 was still an option. I don't know. One of the plans I could go for is queen d2 and bishop b3. Can he take on g4 here? Hmm. If he were to take on g4, I could take it there. Oh, anyways, he didn't, so... Queen d2, I guess, is a... Smart move. Just trying to go bishop b3. Okay, so I can't take it with the knight, since then c2 would be hanging, so... Jeez. Okay. That's not good. That's not good at all. These pawns are a bit weak now, so... I missed this knight h5 idea. If I didn't take the knight g4, uh, knight g3 will come, so I had to do something about it.
it's not that big of a deal since d5 is still very weak so that's good for us also we have an open g file now so I'm really tempted just to take on g5 but I think that would be pretty bad knight c4 now though well we could go knight d5 then just sacrifice because if he takes us on b2 then well I don't know it feels like we should have something and we might even be able to take on g5 there and then go queen d2 and take again and try and threaten some stuff yeah I think that would be actually pretty good this is one of the threats I think Yeah, let's do it. I'm totally bluffing here, of course, but... Yeah, my, my knight on d5 is huge. And uh, I'm going to threaten some stuff when I take on g5. He can't take on c2 here, because then queen takes g5 would be, I think, totally crushing. It's interesting. This is a total bluff, like I said, but I don't really see what he can do. He could castle, but then we always have knight e7. And now we can always take on c7, but I, I, d I don't know if I want to. I think it'll be good, though. Because if we take queen takes, and then we have either queen takes g5 or queen d5. Um... But we could also take on g5 here. It is an interesting, interesting decision. I think I'll... I really want to take on g5 since my knight is so good, but... I think taking on c7 might be better. Like queen d5. Just have some threats. You can't take on c2 due to queen, a, queen a8. And we're just gonna go rook g1, rook g5, I guess. Okay, but now we can check. Oh, and take here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of checks. C8, A8. Let's just go there. Well, okay. At least we've managed something now. We've managed to gain a pawn. And I guess I'll go rook g Oh, maybe a4. That might be a good move. I wanted to go rook g1 first, but a4 seems natural. I think we're winning a pawn here again. And as you can see, we're a pawn up all of a sudden. downside is this uh, this pawn is not that good since these are pretty weak all let's just uh, try and do something here I don't know maybe this is still still a, a position for him I don't know feels like it shouldn't be though feels like I should be easily winning this I know I'm obviously winning on time but yeah, I could even go king g4 here. You saw it was pointless. Um, let's have a look. So yeah, this is Sicilian. We've had this so much lately, well lately, but and um, yeah, there are a couple of of ways of playing this. I really like the h3 line, but if you guys like something else, let me know. I'll try and get it on the board. Um, to be fair, I don't know anything about this bishop g5 line, which um, 
it's one of the main lines here, of course, but I really know nothing about it, so. And this H3 uh, I do know something about. And this is just known. And here H5 is a move. I thought G3 was the move, but it might be possible that Bishop G5 is a move actually. I'm pretty sure G3 is the line. Maybe Bishop G5 here though. I'm not 100% sure. Bishop G2 seems normal though. But I haven't seen this Queen C8, which turns out to be the best move. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Queen C8, Bishop G5, I really like. Since if he takes now, we can take here. And then play Knight D5. And uh, there are some threats. We're threatening to take there. We're threatening Knight B6. So I guess he has to take. But I was gonna probably take back. I was just gonna take back actually. And the threats are still there. Uh, something like f4, queen d3, or rook h1. I mean, why does enough compensation for the pawn and is actually just better here? Since this knight here is so good, he can't really get my knight out of there, even if he threatens to take my knight with something like that. Not that it's possible not right now, but in the future. I can just take and play knight c3, knight d5 again. And although I'm a pawn down, um, well, l just let me show you, yeah? Um, so if it goes something like this, I don't know, rook h1. This is just positionally so good. Even though I'm, well, I'm winning this pawn now as well, but if I didn't were to win that pawn, I would still be doing super good. Um, it's just that this knight is dominating this bishop. This bishop can't really do anything. Uh, whereas this knight is just central and threatens a lot of stuff and uh, yeah this is definitely very good so he didn't take on h3 which is fine of course and g4 now is uh, is nice yeah this f4 might not be the best move um, I was wondering between a lot of moves here actually I think a3 might be fine the engine says so as well um yeah if I go something like Queen D2 then Knight B6 Knight C4 is even worse Knight D5 isn't really an option now since he can just take and I don't want to take back with the pawn I want to have a piece on D5 not a pawn he's just gonna take with the bishop it might be a it might be a, an idea to take here actually yeah, and then play g4. Because now, uh, I've managed to gain something here. This uh, square is is, uh, is good for me. Um, we could try and play a knight over there somehow. Like queen d2, knight d1, knight e3. Although that's a bit far-fetched. It is an idea, actually. Um, if not b6, then b3. If we can put our knights like this, they would be pretty good. Because we can just put a knight on d5 or f5 and play f4, I mean. I don't know. I don't know. I think taking there is the, actually an option. f4, though, is probably not good. Although I don't really see why. Uh, I was afraid a bit of this b4. Because I don't, like I said before, I don't really want to play knight d5. Unless I can take back with a pawn. But now I seem to have to. So, bishop takes, pawn takes. And this might, well, I don't know. This might actually be very good for us. Hmm, I don't know. Um... That's for a, a deeper analysis, I guess. You went to b7, well, f5. And the engine says it's somewhat equal here. I wanted to go b3 here at first, and then if he took, just take back with the knight, go rook c1 and c4. 
Oh, C4. But, yeah. I went A3, which is also fine. I wanted to stop B4. I was also somewhat afraid of B3, B4. Although, I might be seeing some ghosts here. This seems better for black, actually, so... I don't really want that. I don't know. A3, rook, a, rook C8, queen D2. So now I'm threatening bishop E3. But this bishop takes E2 is pretty strange, but I... Since you don't normally don't really want to give a bishop for, for a knight in such a position. The answer says knight takes E2. I figure you could just take there, but I missed this move. Okay. Yeah. And then we can just take back the queen. And we're, we're rook up. So I could take with the knight, actually. I don't know if it's better. Queen takes... Well, I guess it is, because after queen takes knight, it's five. is pretty annoying. I could have played this. Hmm. So the idea is we're just winning a pawn now. And if he plays knight f4, I'm guessing we're going to take. And take here, and then have a nice square there as well. This seems a bit strange to me. Due to a couple of things. Well, the, the positive is we have a knight on d5 now. Uh, the downside is this rook here is actually pretty good. There's pressure along the c file as well. And we're just material down. So, although the engine says it's a, it's equal, not a draw, but it's equal, it's not that easy to play. And in blitz games, that is also a factor. Uh, I didn't even see I could take there, because, uh, well, I just instantly grabbed it. Bishop f3. And I really wanted to take here. This was in my mind here already. Um, but at first I went rook g2, just some defense on, uh, on, on c2, but yeah, I don't know. Um, the engine doesn't like it either, but now this move is pretty good. Uh, I really like this move actually. And f2 takes, we could take there. And it's the best, best move, the engine says. So yay us. I figured if he'd castle we'd always have 97, but I was probably going to take here. And he should have tried this, since now queen f2 is pretty good. I should have played rook g1 here. Threatening queen takes g5. And now c3, wow this is pretty sick. This is actually just winning. So rook f7. And now c3 as well. Knight c4. Strange lines. And we're just gonna go h6 I guess. Or knight f6 or f6 I don't know. And or. I don't know. Um. This sacrifice is definitely good. And here I took, but I, I really wanted to go queen takes c5 here. I didn't really see a follow up though, so that's kind of a problem. Yeah, I think taking is fine, and queen d5 is actually pretty good. Keeping some pressure and threatening queen a8, and also uh, stopping him from castling. Check. And now I made some checks here. And then played a4. And now we're just doing very good. And let's see if we made some mistakes. The engine says we're doing really good. Rook c6, rook c7, c4. And here he resigned. I was probably going to go king g4. So yeah, pretty sweet game actually. This uh, rook sacrifice, or exchange sacrifice, I should say, 
uh, was a game changer. Although the engine says it's still equal, I, I really like it. I really, really like it. Yeah, I guess um, I guess we were pretty good, doing pretty good in this game. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.